lighting. It's such an important part of filmmaking. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Lights are pretty important if you want to be able to see what is on that there camera. But sometimes I do think it's worth mentioning or re-mentioning because I've been a part of productions and seen other productions spend a lot of money on getting a sick camera package and not investing in much time and money into the lighting and grip department. I've slowly been building up my own lighting setup when it's made sense for me to purchase items and not just stuff that I could probably rent out or monetarily makes more sense to rent out in the future. But up till now, I've just been patiently waiting for Aperture, the company I use a lot of lights from, to come out with a tube light. I figured it's just a matter of time. But everything changed when I saw a comment that said, check out SGC lights. I'm really glad I did. Tube lights have been popular for a few years now, popping up in music videos frequently. I've used them a number of times. An argument could be made that these are now overused, but even when not put directly into a scene, they're very versatile. So I knew tube lighting was the next addition I was going to make to my personal kit. But I was in no rush, as a set of eight Titan tubes from Astera costs about $8,300. It's a lot of money. Kaiser Science also makes great products, but again, they are pricey. So I figured I'll just rent them when I need them. That's been my philosophy up until now. After I got done being stunned, saying things like, how have I not known about this sooner? I quickly picked up two of the P60s, that's the two foot light, and two of the P120s, that's the four foot light, both of the prism variety, meaning they have full RGB range of light. And not just because of the price, actually mostly because of the feature set. The reason I've been sticking with Aperture as I build up my lighting kit is because I want a central solution to control them. Something mobile, something lightweight, something like a tablet. See, SGC Lights says specifically on their website, it's some sort of collaboration between Aperture and Quasar Science. So these lights do work with the Citus Link app, which is how I'm already running the rest of my Bluetooth enabled lights. If you look on the back of the tube, you can see the Quasar Science logo is right next to the SGC. So they've been made in collaboration with the two companies. The app has all the features I need and use and then some. You can match the lights to an existing light source and wherever you are. You can even capture a video that's creating an effect of light and the lights will generate that effect back. Yeah, so besides changing color and intensity, there's effects built into all of these and I can run them together. We should definitely show those off. There's actually lightning outside right now, so I'm not sure if the lightning is coming from my lights or the actual elements. We can have all the lights simulate a nice cozy fire. We can use these lights to continue to make an unnecessary amount of cop dramas that do the same exact thing season after season. There's even multiple sequences, so if you're in Chicago PD, you can use this one, and if you're in uh, NYPD, you can use that one, or whatever other excuse you need to use to make more police dramas. Please stop making them. You can just go full party lights to simulate every teen high school drama where everyone definitely has the lights considered as part of their sneaking into the basement and drinking plan. Or the ever spooky, faulty bulb. Let's get some horror music in there. The ability to mount them and then have control in the app saves me so much time on set to be able to pop through colors, change intensity and brightness at just a click of a button. You used to have to run over there and deal with a dial or whatever. You can still do that, which is great in case you're already close to the light and aren't close to the tablet. But this is such a more convenient system. And you can hand it off to someone. An AC, a gaffer can work in tandem with you. It's just, uh, it's been worth the patience in getting this whole thing set up because now I finally feel prepared for a number of lighting scenarios. And I'm not as worried if I'm going to have the ability to control the light in the way I want to, in the speed that I need to. The lights come in simple but effective cases. They open flat, so you can get one tube on one side and one tube on the other, both with the accessories you'd need to use them, such as the power system, which can be used just to charge the lights or to use while they are plugged in. You can remove the batteries in these lights, but I haven't seen a way to charge just the battery individually. And it also comes with really simple mounting stuff. They just click into this tube holder here, and then this point can be used onto any standard 
grip equipment to get it mounted to your existing stands, C stands, light stands, whatever. I do wish the cases were a bit more substantial. And what I mean by that is that I wish they weren't so flimsy. The Velcro's a little flimsy on the inside, the exterior's just fine, but internally, it doesn't feel like each accessory has an exact home. But that's the kind of corner I'm okay with it being cut in order to stay at this price point. We haven't even talked about price yet and after functionality, that was the biggest factor for me choosing these over Quasar or Asteras. And that's because these are quite cheap compared to those competitors. Two of these, the P60 lights, will cost you around $550, and two of the larger 4-foot 120 lights will cost you about $775. Again, a lot cheaper than the competition. My theory is that this is a product affected by all the supply chain and shipping issues going on worldwide right now, and I expect to be seeing them under the Aperture brand name sometime in the States soon. This is a barely visible company. They have an Instagram account with less than 400 followers and just a few YouTube videos out there talking about these products. So why go with this kind of light? Well, I wanted them specifically to use creatively in music videos in the background, practically in a place of, you know, a fluorescent bulb and to be a versatile fill light. In my first experience actually working with them, they performed great. A small feature that's really more about the app than it is about the lights that's really handy is it tells you runtime on the app, how long the light will last at the current output you have it set to. Little stuff like that just gives you so much more peace of mind when filming in small indie productions that more often than not have a lot of stuff to get through in a little less time than is ideal. If you're wondering about that project that I just mentioned I used these on for the first time and you want to see it, well, then you should subscribe to the channel so that you will when it comes out. Even like the video if you want to help me get towards my goal of 1,000 subscribers by July. I'm not gonna do any CRI tests or output control tests because I don't have the other lights to compare them to, nor do I really have the facilities to give you accurate readings. But I am excited for the future of SJC. I mean SGC. SJC is the drum company I grew up being obsessed over. SGC is the lighting company I'm surprised I didn't know about earlier. A point I think worth making is that lighting is a more commercial industry than it ever has been. It's no longer reserved for just TV and movies. You've got Twitch streamers and all different sorts of platforms looking to create high quality content for lack of a better term, and good videos need good light. SJC, SGC might be a good option for those creators. There are a few things I hope they improve before these make it to the major retailers like b &H and Adorama, such as a charging solution that is better than taking each light out of its case, taking each charger out of that case as well, and finding however many lights you have, you need that many plugs to charge the lights. It's a lot less convenient than what you can do with the Asteras, which is plug in the entire case and it charges all the lights. But again, this is one fifth the cost roughly. I also wish this control panel was on the back of the light so that you might not see it if it was being used as a practical. So if you've been looking for tube lights that don't cost more than the entire kit just to have one, this is a good place to start. If a video about how to use them with the app and get them set up is something you'd wanna see, let me know in the comments. Until next time, please consider subscribing and uh, get ready for the short. You gotta go to party mode, hang on. Thanks for watching, new short coming soon. Until next time, I'm off walking.